Today on Drawbly, Abby is drawing... Capybara! The cutest capybaras. Oh my god! Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. And if you're also drawing some capybaras, share them on Instagram. Use that hashtag, Drawbly. We'd love to see your capybaras. We would love that. I love capybaras. Look Abby, these. these capybaras are adorable, and I love the stylization that you're already starting to get in here. Look at that cool shape underneath uh, the one on the left. His, his little chin neck yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I liked how that turned out there. I kind of really saw it cool. in nature and I wanted to emphasize that. Nature. Nature. Because it's neat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your capybaras. Um, this is purely a, this is what I really just want to do right now. This is how I'm going to absolutely relax and enjoy my time creating art in this nice coffee shop. Um, so wait, I- Wait, 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 wait. You enjoy art? I, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> On occasion. Sometimes I'm known to dabble. Yeah, it's a nice like little like in between quill cool between our um, art school videos. What fairy tale world did you find these images from? I the know, capybara right? hugging a cat. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Now, my original love from capybaras comes from my childhood. I never met a capybara, but one of my favorite children's books, authors, and illustrators, Bill Peet, had a book called Cappy Boppy. Cap Cappy Boppy? Cappy Boppy. And uh, what is Cappy Boppy? It was just about a capybara. And was his name Cappy Boppy? Yes, it was. That, and ma that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Pete was a huge like influence on my love of art and sketchy art like this, kind of pencil -y art in general. Oh, really? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here, I'll have to put up one of his images on screen. But um ba -dum, Cappy Boppy. <laughs> oh, you always, hey, what, for once, I just want to do the sound effect. I mean, you okay, always ben, do. Ready? No. Go. Let's hear it. Let's hear your best sound effect. That was it. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> well, the image faded in real well there with uh, <laughs> that sound you gave us. Thank you. <laughs> How many capybaras did you make here? Like one, two, three, four, five, I don't know. Too many. 10? 10? Well, the last image I draw like five or six capybaras in one image. So, okay. You, you grab image one of capybara, you, you draw your capybara, and then you're just like, I can't stop. I got the capybara fever. Oh my gosh, you guys, you had to like drag me out of the coffee shop that day. Actually, <laughs> we did. Yeah, I was not ready to go. Oh my gosh, this one, I could not stand it. It was so cute. I started drawing it Abby and I was, was like out loud in the coffee shop. I was screaming in the coffee shop. I was not screaming, shop. that's for children. But look at him, and mine turns out looking like such a little gremlin, <laughs> and I almost love it even more for that. Look at him. He does oh become a little gosh. gremlin. So cute. This was Abby in the coffee shop for a good like 20 minutes Actually, while she was drawing this capybara. Yes, and I am not sorry to the general public who had to be there with me and my capybaras because I was having I, a phenomenal time. I think that time. The, the shape under the mouth makes it look like he's frowning. I love that. <laughs> but I, it's something about the eye, the darkness of the eye kind of gives it uh, a little more of that gremlin feeling here. But yeah. overall, he's pretty cute. I think if I'd made his eye a little smaller, that would have helped. Maybe, maybe. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Abby, you've said that about every capybara. Oh my gosh, they're all perfect. This one is very good. None of them can do any wrong. Another fairy tale <laughs> photo here from... Look at this, from Pinterest. Who knew that all these beautiful pictures of tranquil, happy, loving capybaras existed. What a loving animal, apparently. Where are capybara capybaras from? I believe South America. Oh. But and what is a capybara? It kind of looks is, like a groundhog, that but bigger. That is such a great question. They are actually the largest uh, rodent in the world. Oh, so they're rats. No, Benjamin, <laughs> they are capybaras. Ratibara. No, uh, not Ratibara. <laughs> you take that attitude elsewhere. <laughs> I'll draw rats next time though, and I'll make them look cute. You uh, better look out. No, that's okay. I will, you've challenged me. How about some New York rats? Some New York rats? Yeah, those are probably bigger than capybaras. Ooh, you should draw a rat king. Uh, no, I'm not that kind of artist. Well, for those, do you know what a rat king is, right? I do. It's the craziest thing in the world, but apparently rats can just get their tails tangled up together 
and this is like a normal, naturally occurring thing. We're here to talk about cute things and cute animals, not a big ball of rat and tails all together. And then it's just a big, together. giant ball Why? of rats that like exists. <laughs> Why and, do you go there? And it's <gasps> look at this bird. <laughs> look at this bird. <laughs> it's so cute. Its tail isn't tangled with a bunch of other birds' tails. <laughs> <laughs> but this capybara could be. No. <laughs> oh, I like the green that you got on there in the back. Thanks. I think it looks good and vibrant. It did show through a little bit <gasps> of your orange, This one's my but favorite. Abby, you can't say that at the beginning of literally every single one. But look one. how fat he is. But look how fat he is. Oh, look at his little fat little self. Oh, I love him. This capybara, if he had a name, what would it be? Oh, it would be it would be Worcester sauce. Yeah, Wor Worcestershire. Worcester sauce. Worcestershire. Yes, he'd be a Worcester sauce capybara. He's very very cute. He's very round, very round he, shapes. Or his name would be Worcestershire plump. I should do like a South American uh, Wind in the Willows style. Uh, illustrated an adventure. What is Wind in the Willows? Uh, Mr. Toad, Badger, the dressed up animals oh, in yes, England. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, where the, the, I would do a different version with capybaras and... Uh, More capybaras. I guess some birds and cats. Maybe the only South American component would be the capybaras, but mm -hmm. worth it. But oh, this is my ideal way of like relaxing art. Just little lines, little sketchy. And this is the final image. The cool... De capybara. Yeah, I actually missed a little bit of recording on this uh, partway through, so there's a little bit of a jump at one point. Um, <laughs> I love these shapes that you're creating for your capybaras. Oh, thanks. They look really fun. <laughs> this is my base sketch. Mm, that's a good base sketch. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I liked how this one turned out. Now, I'll ask you about this in advance before you see what I'm talking about. The whole image ended up looking uh, kind of flat, despite oh. a range, a somewhat range of values. Mm. One thing I think I could have done better was kept this original like focal point capybara much lighter in color. I ended up darkening him way too much. This capybara was, took me a long time to get values on him that I liked. Um, I say that like this was some brilliant and this masterpiece. this is a question? You, you said I'm going to ask you this question before it gets... Yes. So my question is, when you see the final piece and you say, yes, that does look rather two-dimensional and a bit flat, mm. um, say to yourself, oh, here's what you could have done differently maybe to make it look less... You expect me to two know? Two-dimensional. <laughs> now, one thing I think I could have done was um, had something more in the foreground and something more in the background because everything we look at in this image... Maybe this capybara I'm doing now is a little bit backgroundy, but everything's very much in one level, one layer of distance from us, the viewer. Um, and I think if I had just varied that a little bit, that might have helped. So uh, one thing you definitely could have done is what you just said, resolution-wise. So like the capybaras in the back are just kind of quick little blobs of value. And maybe you just focus on those four that you've created there. Mm -hmm. But really for those four capybara, they're like they're outside in ambient lighting under the sun. Like look at the shadows under the capybaras. There's like, you know, not really much shadow going on mm -hmm. unless it's going off to the right. Yeah, a little bit of a long shadow maybe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to tell because mm -hmm. uh, the image is cropped. But for the most part, kind of ambient lighting there. I think in some of the ones in the front, you could have done some darker values. Notice how that fourth one is a lot darker up against the bright spots of the like ridge of the mm -hmm. two middle capybaras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could like highlight that bright ridge to like separate them better. Oh yeah, that's a great that's great advice. Thank you. Um, yeah, there's maybe a couple of things, but easier said than done. Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny, like how it. Sometimes I think it's so easy to look at somebody else's art and say, oh, you should have done this, this, and this. And then when I sit down to create, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's not that easy. Yeah, mm. why is it so much easier to critique? Um, I think your capybaras look great, though. I thank mean, you. Especially after you had so much practice there with all your other capybaras. I know, I definitely found my capybara flow, for sure. The capybara flow, wow. Yes, yes. Very nice. This is your style. I think this is what your style is called, the capybara flow. Hmm, I guess we could call it that. <laughs> <laughs> I like this though. This is, this is very fun for me to create. 
Oh, look at these simple, like just quick, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 lines, and you're just like, water. It's water now. And I'm it, like, I, it is water. It is water. It's water. I, I do go back and do a little bit more to the water, but it, just to make it more water, you know? Just to, Yeah, you got to make it more water. Just some white on the surface. Wow. Now that's some water. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> water is so hard to make. And I would assume that capybaras are also very difficult to make but you made so many and they were all so good they're actually very forgiving little animals because they're just a bunch of little round balls and that's that's not a very difficult shape to do so if you want to just practice cute animals but you don't want all the difficulty of getting a cat's face to look just right which is hard to do uh draw some capybaras and let me see them here's my capybaras again here's your capybaras oh nice yeah. a little little effect there yeah, you like my editing style there wow yeah i like how the sketch stands like very well on its own I do too. That's why I did these this way. I thought the sketch is definitely my favorite part of them. Mm. Uh, so it's Gremo. Gremo. I so dude. Bird. What's this one's name? Bird. His, his name can't be Bird. It's Burb. Bert. Bert. Bert and Bird. Bert and Bird. I'm Bert and, and Bird. And then, uh, of course, Worcestershire Plump. Oh, Worcestershire Plump. Our favorite of the capybaras. He's so cute. They're all my favorites. And uh, what are all their names, Abby? Wumpa Lump, Jump a Lump, Grump a Lump, Bump a Lump, and Toby. And Toby. Wow. And the other ones don't have names. <laughs> yes, that's something Bill Pete would have named his capybara, so I'm taking inspiration wow. from him. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I mean, sounds like he's pretty much a genius when it comes to naming critters. He is probably the best at in the game. <laughs> and if you want to be a genius at naming critters, click that subscribe button. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. And if you just so happen to draw some capybaras or anything else, share it on Instagram with the hashtag drawbly. Mm -hmm, we want to see it. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. I like capybaras. I also like capybaras. And cows. What? And cats. Okay. And carrion birds. Where are you going with this? And chihuahuas. Okay, we'll continue this list in our next episode. <laughs>